it seems really cool so if you guys don't know about Limsys, they were like kind of the first they're like one of the og companies in the open source slash llm space they do a whole bunch of cool stuff and they're most famous for this arena that they have so they like we were all sick of these benchmarks and like llms like training on the benchmarks so they created this chatbot arena where you kind of ask a message like um how many children does elon musk have and it will it will like generate responses from two random models now you don't get to know which model is which and then you have to choose one of the models you think has a better response and it takes all of these like comparisons and like matchups and makes a leaderboard like an elo rating leaderboard so it's kind of like matchmaking and this is their way of determining what the best model is, like crowdsourced um, things. So this is a pretty direct answer. I like that. 12 children. This is like a huge long answer. I don't really like that. And at the end, um, they don't really give. It's really hard to see the answer. So I prefer model A. So I'm going to click model A. And this one was Mystery Gemini 3 versus Deep Seek 2.5. Awesome. Mystery Gemini 3. Oh, interesting. So yeah, a lot of the time, these companies like Google, OpenAI, Anthropic, they release a model just to Limpsys for the arena, um, just to test it out before they release it publicly. <laughs> Which is really cool. So yeah, this was their first product they had, their like chatbot arena, and it works like this. But now they've released a VS Code extension, which kind of does the same thing, but for like code editing. So and it's free. So let's let's just check that out. I think that's really cool. Okay. Copilot Arena. Okay, this is what it's called. Copilot Arena. Um, install that. This is the one completely uh, free to use. So it like yeah, it gives you like you don't get to choose which model it uses, but it could either be like uh, could either be Sonic it could either be Claude, it could either be Quinn. Um, yeah, so it does code completion and also inline editing. I'm not sure what the, the what key is for inline editing, but um, I'm trying to find the. Oh, this is also really cool. Um, it like keeps the history of everything you've you've done, so you can kind of get your own leaderboard for yeah your personal leaderboard. So for what model works best for you, um, we can register. Let me register as Tegran. Um, all of these is optional. Yeah, all you need is a username. We're meant to be, we're meant to get like two autocomplete suggestions. Oh, here we go. There we go. Finally, we're okay. So you see this? There's one autocomplete suggestion up the top, and then there's another one down the bottom. So this is two different AI models um, competing to suggest um, code completion through the Copilot Arena. And you can accept the first one with tab. Or you can accept the second one, I think, is with shift tab. So if I... Which one looks better? I don't know what we're trying to do here. Um, oh, yeah, 404. I guess that's kind of better. So I'm going to go shift tab. That should accept the second one. And we can see here, it says down the bottom, Quen 2.5 coder beats Llama 3.1 405B instruct, instruct. And then on our leaderboard, we can see that uh, we need 19 votes, which makes sense. But you can see all the history. So like Quen uh, Llama 405B. Um, really cool stuff. Lazy was saying exponents really good. I haven't I haven't tried it. Um, component dot run. Download the desktop app. Here we go. Oh, this looks great. Um, sweet. Have the files in reference file standard. Um, we want to add testing and testing for the video X functionality, ensuring the correct labeled blocks plan and execute. Do not mock the thing else. It should be real and ending with framework. All right. I'd explore the code base first. Oh yeah. Let's see what it does if I don't. Here we go. It does. At first it wants to check the package JSON, which is good. And LS. Why LS? Okay. Now it's going to read it. Okay. I guess it was just to check if that even exists. And it's going to read it. Great. It's going to check if we have the Cypress. We don't have the Cypress. Let's set up the Cypress text. I'm going to say no. Tests. Okay. I guess it doesn't really have access to the tests are in tests. Okay. It's cool. It's got like some keys stuff and i don't know is there any limits on this lazy pretty good i haven't put in like an api key or anything so it could be using the api key from my global end because that wasn't really in the tutorial in the guide in the setup guide um mm, yes first analyze it actually doesn't know what it's right right <laughs> to see how exports should work yeah i definitely should have like not have it just write the test first oh you only have 20 questions but auto mode yeah what do we have in this okay damn 20 messages month pretty bad or you can pay 50 dollars a month to get higher messaging limits 
say exactly how long. And they just leak your key here, which is not nice. Um, each label's video is downloaded separately. Video file, explore content only. This is good. It's a good plan. Last way longer than you think. I mean, the speed is really great. I feel like it's probably using Sonnet, right? Hey, G, thanks for the like. Control Y. Let's see if we can actually run the test now as well. Setting command. Hater never tried to do. So I guess all these edits aren't included as the, um, like the 20 questions. It's just when I prompt it manually, that's kind of part of the 20 questions. I see. Yo, delightful deals. What's up? Um, I'm testing out this tool. It's called Exponent. Seems like a really good AI assisted coding. Um, I'm trying to write the Cypress test. So Cypress is a testing framework to test one of these apps that I have that it's like a video editing app. We're trying to test the exporting, um, what, what am I trying to say here? Exporting functionality, like video exporting. Um, yeah, we tried it with Ader for a long time and couldn't really get much progress. So now I'm trying with Exponent and I'll be really pleasantly surprised if it works. So yeah, just letting it go. So far, like everything it's done looks really great. Uh, I'm not sure if it's able to run the actual, oh, it's even making an invalid MP4 file in the test, which is pretty cool. Um, and seeing if this file exists, good. Great, we have our test. Let's create a test directory to ensure all directories exist. Deer is the function we can run here. And now it's gonna run the test, sick. What am I using to code? Thought that was bolt. No, this is exponent, E-X-O-N-E-N-T. Run. It's currently in a waitlist, but it seems like relatively easy to get on the try it. Yeah, okay, so this is good. So it looks like, it, you know, it does a lot for free. None of these like suggestions by it are, oh shit, I have to take this call. All right, I'm back. No, not ordering pizza either. Um, what did I miss? Bolt fork with a bunch of LLM options. Yeah, people have been really liking that. Um, if you key still valid, no. I revoked that before I even posted that video. What am I working on? Um, so yeah, this is Exponent, which has been pretty cool. Um, I really like it. It's just, yeah, another one of those AI assistants, coding assistants. And um, yeah, I'm trying to get it to run the Cypress test. Oh, I don't think I'm running my development server. Let's see if it can run it for me. It seems to only charge you if you type a prompt in the here but like all these like control y things i think are free so i'm like avoiding typing stuff start server and no, no, no. I'm just gonna run it manually. No. Yo, Yar, I haven't seen you in ages. I didn't even realize that was you. What's happening, dude? Come on. Files were found. This is the love pattern. I don't think this makes deer work. Deer doesn't work. On. Hold on, let me, I'm just gonna do this manually so I can save, save, a, save a ting. We don't have, it is there. Okay, like it's doing something. Dude, no log. Okay, log. Okay, that's fine. Wasn't really expecting it to work first time. Um, yeah, see, we've only used six messages because it only counts the messages you... Oh, auto run is if you, uh, if you up. Honestly, if this test passed, definitely would consider upgrading. It's $50 a month, quite expensive, but, you know, if it works, you can run in auto rub. Auto rub. <laughs> Boring show. I'm, this is my agenda today. Move it to the middle, I guess. It covers it. I made a video on how to get Quen for free on Ader with GLHF uh, chat, which I think is awesome. So shout out to them, I think. It's just been a bit... Since I made that video, I kind of expected it. It's been a bit like, it seems like they're getting so many people using it that it's not running too well. But they say we'll let you use up to eight NVIDIA A100s, which is crazy, for free. And it's like, this is during the beta period while we work out on the kinks. Um, it's completely free. So that's super cool. But yeah, it's not as reliable. If you want something more reliable, open router host Quen 2.5 32B with three providers. As you can see here, only one of the providers has 128K context, and that is hyperbolic. So normally if you just use open router with default settings, um, it will probably choose either one of these. So you could get the 33 context window and hit the max context limit pretty soon. So the way to make sure you always get hyperbolic, you go in here, you go settings and then ignored providers. Here I've put deep infra and fireworks because they're the other two providers that aren't hyperbolic. So if you ignore these two, you're always gonna get hyperbolic when hitting the Quen open router endpoint. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done. And also if you're using Ader, there's something else you need to do. But yeah, so they, you need this Ader.model.metadata.json file, um, which, which kind of tells Ader to use the 128K context when using Open Radiquen. So you need to put that just in the same location as your, um, yeah, I'm going to put this file on my video links. So if you go to techfriend.net, you will see all the resources here in links for videos, links from videos right here. Again, techfriend.net, links from videos, go up into the main root directory of this repository and it's right there. And you could just copy that. 
Hope that helps you guys if you're using Quen. I think it's one of the most. 128,000 tokens on Quen 2.5 coder. Perfect. Um, but yeah, so now I can show you guys how I'd set up a 2x coding thing at least so this is like video editor the main branch i get clone the same repository but i just do video editor 2 instead of this so we have a new folder with the same code base and in that folder we'll run another ai agent oh uh, yeah video editor 2 and now oh, i have this app video block editor which i'm going to rename to gm clip very soon so we have two two versions of Ader running in two different folders on the same branch. Uh, actually, this one I'm going to get branch into, we're going to call this Quen Dev. Um, Alright, we're going to have Ader Sonnet and Ader Quen both working on this. And then we'll merge really in the future. Um, model Quen. Double check, we still have 128,000 token context window. We do. Very awesome. I love it. OpenAI, HF Onslaught. Is that a thing? Um, I'm going to add everything. This is going to be costly, but go slash tokens to see how many tokens tokens everything is taking okay so sonnet has a 2000 200 000 token connect index.html is 10,000. everything else is really small i think we need these um i'm gonna say use i'm gonna go architect mode and i'm gonna say use i don't know if this is a word test driven development to ensure that when exporting the correct length are exported the correct blog length etc i don't know i don't think this will work i predict we're gonna be spending five dollars and it won't work um but yeah i'm gonna let that go and uh, what's something we can get quen working on at the same time um i don't know let's bring up the app so i can show you. i think i'm gonna do just simple changes with quen like move the export button or oh I actually rename everything to gm clip would be good whoa 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 this is the wrong i think we didn't have assets when we did okay create a new test file awesome am i using ader yes this is ader two versions of ader one running when one running sonic um do that yeah actually i'm gonna set up the ader con here which i don't have uh we'll copy it over the ader con the, is the config file where you can specify stuff in ader uh let me ensure the files that we load initially where do we do that file i want index.html and i want i don't know if this works yeah, do we have yarn test what about model set the model model will have a quen perfect okay so now hopefully every time i run ader it will run quen and add the right files only in this folder though because that's where the config is and you can see here quen and index html unfortunately the tests with the wild card didn't work um not sure why to manually do that but um okay so i'm gonna say rename all the actually i'm also gonna add package dot rename all the titles etc the new project name is gm clip okay and yeah we have errors with video export hopefully sonic can just recursively debug this export issue not sure if it will but we'll Am I running it all in your host PC? Yes and no. So the LLMs are all APIs, but yes, the, the actual ADR and the code and stuff is on my host. Actually, one more thing I'm going to try after this renaming thing is is this thing I'll, I'll talk about and I kind of want to eat at the moment. But yeah, here, we're just going to have Sonnet recursively debug the export, hopefully fix it. I don't know. And then on here, we have when just doing a basic kind of renaming of the title. Very simple. And then here we go. I'm a 2x engineer now. <laughs> Hopefully, if if these like models are really smart, but in reality, it's probably like zero point. Super slow, man. Quinn is super slow as well. It's a bit annoying. I feel like I have like I should do a new one with um. Yeah, mine. We'll have a third, a third engineer with Gemini Flash. Um, duplicate video editor two. Call it video editor three. <laughs> oh, all right, three X engineer. Let's go. All right, for this one, let's use um Gemini Flash. What is a Gemini? Flash 1.5 experimental? Yeah, sure. Is there something else? Yeah, we're gonna have it on yes mode. Always yes. Oh, also, is there an ignore? Um, Ader ignore. Yeah. We should CP Ader ignore. Ader ignore? Oh, we don't even have it. All right, let me create one. Ader ignore. We don't want asset. E Ader ignore into video editor. Damn, we hit the token limit? This doesn't make sense. Look, this doesn't add up. It's like total tokens, 128,000, but we only have 13 plus 21. And we hit the limit. Damn it, bro. This makes me suspect that, um, we're actually not using the right provider. There's no way to really debug that either. Major suck. Oh, the output. Oh, okay, no, no, no. That makes sense. So the output is still 8, even though the input is 128. Output is still 8. And, um, we just say use smaller change blocks to avoid output limit. That is one thing about Quen is it always tries to do whole changes. Wait, oh, that's... We need to have it in diff mode. Uh-huh. Okay, hold on. Is that something we can change in the dot? Uh, show diff. Show diff. Show diff. Hmm. 
It could be in the model metadata. No, nothing there. How do we make it? I gotta check. How do we make it? Yo, Ariwa, thanks for the like. The uh, heart, sorry. Is Ada right cursor where it, is Ada like cursor where it writes the code and creates the files? Yeah. And even better, it runs shell commands, something that cursor will implement but hasn't yet. Have I tried set our script? Oh, I definitely want to. Yes, that's definitely something that we do this stream. So is gonna join in 30. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna keep streaming for a long long time. Um let me see how we can edit mode, how we can have the diff mode. So diff. Is it all it's like the oh my, mode model mode model. How do you have... Mm -hmm. Go to chat LLM. If you guys don't know about chat LLM, it's a service you pay $10 a month, but you get access to all the greatest models, um, including, you know, Claude Sonnet, including Gemini Pro, including O1 Mini, O1 Preview, Quen, Haiku, and um, you also get video generation and image generation. And yeah, image generation, they have Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra and Recraft. I'm not sure if this is Recraft 3, but it's pretty good. I've tried Recraft to make um, a icon for my video editing app and it did really well. I think Recraft is really good for like SVG type like vector images. Uh, Flux seems to be really good at just really quality images. So we're going to try making um, something like this. You can even modify the input prompt, uh, generate less process, more natural looking images. Yeah, let's try to generate something realistic, like realistic image of a Persian man coding at a computer with a blue unzip. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what that creates. Okay, so this, wow, this actually is pretty high def. Um, Although you can still, like, it's still, like, a bit airbrushed. You know what I mean? Pretty good, though. Let's try to create some sci-fi as well. Anyone have a prompt idea? Take French shirtless workout stream. <laughs> um, yeah, so that, and then the cool thing is you can take this image, right? Let's download it. But what you can do is go video gem and you can go start frame, upload that same image and, um, and just animate and just make it into a video. Now this will probably take a while. Cling, I'm pretty sure this uses Cling. So yeah, this will be animated, which is so cool doing this all in one interface. Previously you had to, you know, generate it on Flux, take it over to Cling, generate the video, but now having it all in um, chat LLM is really great. Trend drop us, which side is this? This is chat LLM. You can go chat LLM.abacus.ai or you can get my referral link, which will give me $5. If you go to techfriend.net, it's just this link here, chat LLM by Abacus. Um, it has so many features. Uh, another feature I want to try is GitHub Connect because supposedly Chat LLM can now make pull requests for your GitHub repository. So I'm really interested in trying that. Yeah, let's try the GitHub Connect. Um, yeah, you got to authorize uh, Abacus with your GitHub platform. It says connecting. And here we can search for a GitHub name. Sick. So I have TechFriend website as you saw here. Um, I did a partnership with AIEs, which I still think is really cool. We only agreed to seven days for their link to be on my page, but I kept it there because, you know, they're offering free, um, free image editing tools. And I thought that's cool. Like I didn't have a problem with having them on there for longer because, um, there was no one to really take their place, but it's been at least two weeks and I think I want to take them down. Um, and I don't want to do any coding myself. So let's see if chat LLM can take that down for us. Um, oh, so we have to specify which files we want. Um, SRC, main pages, projects, apps, components. Okay, I think those are the main files. So that's pretty cool that you can specify like which files because a lot of the time Git repositories have files that you know are just not relevant. Um, so let's see, is it make a pull request to remove AIEs from the links section. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, so it's using GPT-40, but I probably should have used Claude Sonnet. It's not gonna make too much of a um, difference, but we'll see. Okay, so there's just a button here. It says create pull request. All right, enter the new branch name, uh, Abacus Test. All right, let's see. Let's see how that goes. Well, looks like it's actually gonna go ahead and create the PR. So we'll let that happen simultaneously. We're waiting for the video. Oh, it says it's generated. That was actually really fast. All right, we got this video generated by Kling. Oh, that's sick. This is really cool. This is definitely some good like B-roll footage for me. There we go. And we went from image to video, all within chat LLM. Really cool. I've always had troubles with the text kind of dysmorphing, but um, the typing looks good, the face looks good, everything else looks good, camera movement.